tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this video I'm just going to show, quickly show you how you can create some interesting three-dimensional effects using mix of brushes. Now first thing to do, I've just got this image here and I'm going to apply effect. First filter, stylize, oil paint, turn it into a sort of oil paint like effect very quickly. Now what you can do, and I'm just going to quickly go select all and edit copy because I might just I'm going to use it a little bit later. So I'm just going to copy, make sure it's copied, and now got a mixer brush just over here, mixer brush tool. And what you can do then, there's obviously a whole range of different mixer brushes you can select. You can modify it via, just go over here, via the brush. Just there, you've got all the various different settings such as size, round fan shape, bristles, etc. Now, of course, just going with the default, just very basic. Mix a brush. Going to go for load the brush after each stroke and wet a seven. Load a four. Mix at eighty nine. That's the key thing there. And sample all layers. Right. And set that on as well. Now, once you've actually done that, you can create a new layer and go to new layer. And that's why I've got some sample all layers. So click OK. And what you can do then is you can actually see you can actually create the paint without actually modifying the underlying image on this one. I'm going to do this very rough. I mean, it's not going to be what you call a standardly beautiful art bit of, I would take a lot longer to do this, but I'm just doing it very quick, rough sketched in just to show the example of thing. Now, one thing to avoid is suddenly changing the brush midstream, and I've done that a few times. It does have a tendency with the art pad, it just will suddenly Flick up and change the whim. Now I don't know why, but anyway, it's just one of those things. I wish it was made a bit better. You could stop that happening. Right. So you can see the brush strokes over here now. You can just see in this little panel. I've also removed the little display. I never like that. I don't even know why that's included personally. Never, never have any use for that. Seeing what the brush. I like to see the actual result on result on the screen. So right, so now I've got that, just done that very quick brush stroke. And of course I could do the eyes a bit as well. Uh, probably one of the best places to do, of course, in a, is the eyes to modify and tweak that. But again, it takes a little bit. Okay, once I've actually done that, you can actually go and create another layer. But I'm just going to quickly go and paste the other one in again. So paste. See, I'm on top now, you can't see the other one, but I'm just going to go back to it and say, now I'm just going to create another new layer, so new layer, click OK, and now I can paint again. Now, of course, I don't have to actually keep it like that, I can actually change that, so I can actually go there and say maybe apply a little bit of blur, maybe not that much, a little bit of blur, maybe use adjustment, vibrance, I'm just going with black and white, so black and white. So it's going over just then. Right, and you can then just add that onto. Now, just done an example of a thing not to do. And this is a key thing is, and of course, make certain you actually apply it on the layer you want. If you apply it on there, suddenly you'll start finding that it's not working the way you want. Right, so just go back up there, and then you can apply that. You, of course, could apply it to that other layer as well. No big reason why not to, but then you can apply it like that. And I'm doing it again very rough, so it's just quick. And, then, and you can change the brush, again go over there, to modify it a bit, so change the settings as well. You don't have to keep it like this. Okay, so I'm just, again, you can see the image over there, very rough, quite brush strokes for that. Now, I could go further, obviously I could do multiple layers, and, I, and now I can actually what you can do, you can get rid of that one. You don't actually have to keep that. You can see you've got that effect there. And you can get rid of that, and you could just go with that. But I'm going to keep that. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to create the three-dimensional effect. Is layer, layer style. Bevan the boss. So then you've got that looks like a face mask at this point, which may be not exactly what you want. But you can actually add a lovely... So of course you can vary it as well, you can modify the angle, so you can create different sorts of things. 
remove the use global, it's up to you of course. And of course you can modify the contour personally, that one's fine. Now, once you've actually done that, click OK, and you can go back to that one as well. So you've got two, you could like have 15, 20, 30, so you can build up a lot of different layers with this three-dimensional approach and go to layer and layer start, bevel and the boss, and you've got the bevel and the boss on the other one now. So you can change that, maybe use the same lighting approximately. But you can also, of course, tweak that to be a slightly different. And of course, you can still paint on it. So actually, while you're on there, you can actually turn around and say, oh, I want it to you can actually paint a little bit more onto the design. You can see the three-dimensional brush strokes being added and mixed. And it's taking the color again from there, etc. So you can just blend that even more and create more sort of three-dimensional effect. Again, like I said, black maybe isn't what you want. Maybe you'd prefer color. Obviously, you can go and tweak the color, and you don't have to course, go with black and white. You could go with vibrance or anything else like that, or just not have that at all. Now, once you've actually done that, click OK, and then, well, go to Layer, Flatten Image, and then click OK, and there you have it. Got an, an interesting, and that's what I wouldn't say, masterpiece, but you can, of course, always Control V, bring in the original picture, and then go for darken or multiply to create interesting sort of three-dimensional effects, which of course you can then combine again with filters, maybe with stylize again, or maybe go to adjustments and HDR toning to bring out interesting variations on or not. Now, another thing, filter and stylize, and again, oil paint, just to add that final touch of click OK, to give actually also a three-dimensional effect on that as well. Sometimes works, sometimes not. You can certainly smooth it to create an interesting, and then of course, you can go back to layer and new layer, click OK, and then just continue painting from that and use that as the source of the blend. And you've still, of course, got in the clipboard, pasteboard, you've still got the original, so you can pull it, bring that in, and also sample that as well, and create more an unusual, okay, layer, layer style, better than the boss, to add another layer of brush. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.